being transported to some kind of information network center. But it looks organic instead of electronic. Jesus Christ, I'm an engineer, not a brain surgeon. What do they expect me to do? Hey, I ain't no Sir Edmund Hillary. I can't climb down this cliff. This workstation is a similar design to the ones I found in the pyramid. But the conduits are definitely nerve tissue. I'm in the elevator. It's sound asleep. Yo, wake up. It's sound asleep. A holographic projector. You taking me to the movies, Anne, honey? Projects fractally generated holograms. Are you capable of receiving voice input? Benny, they said you were missing in action, but I knew you'd return to us. I've been saving this for you. This hologram is much more realistic than the ones my father used to be. Sound asleep. Yo, wake up. Sound asleep.
Statues again. These aren't covered with gold or gems. No ROM chips on these statues. Guess it was too much to hope for. Yeah, right. Give Am an excuse to push me back. Whoever it was, at least <sighs> could that be an angel? Funny, why did I just flash on Ted just now? Sound asleep. Yellow ahead. This hole is the same shape as the collar gem I found in the end. Connection, perhaps? another to send into cyberspace. I've been transported to some kind of information network center, but it looks organic instead of electronic. Jeez! Enter password. Invalid password. Access denied. This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. Interesting. This computer terminal is a magnificent integration of biology and technology. Enter password. Password valid. Accessing main menu. My past must hold great significance to arm. October 21st, 2012. Researchers at MIT report that a stealth virus had purged their most advanced learning algorithms after dumping the data into an unmapped area of cyberspace. Subject Benny appropriated at Chinese War Memorial, Washington, D.C. An intense drive to be the best earned him the reputation of being a merciless military commander. Subject Ellen appropriated at Inksai Engineering, New York, New York. Panic attacks can undermine everything she has accomplished by her rapid climb up the corporate ladder. Subject Gorister appropriated at Ruth's Drive and Diner, Atlanta, Georgia. Feelings of guilt over his wife's death have incited numerous suicide attempts. Subject Nimdoc appropriated at the New Brazilian International Airport, 
New Brazil, South America, prevented from continuing his outlawed research by a failing memory. Subject Ted appropriated at the Epicurean Spa, Palm Springs, California, exhibits paranoid tendencies despite wealth, good looks, and social connections. This cyberspace template mixes subject history with cyber reality constructs. The result is often an allegorical experience and one full of deeper meanings. File locked. File locked. File locked. File locked. The smell of burning flesh! It's worse than back at the camps! The smell of... That face! It reminds me of my superiors at the research camp. Attention! It is not conscious. I should not give this away. I should... I sh... I do not... Nothing happened. I do not... I do... Nothing happened. Never be done with me? What must I open now? Whatever it is, it'll cost you. Show me the way out of here. No can do. The people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end. There is no way out, but I can show you something instead. What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. Am absorbed them into his system when he took control. What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? They want revenge. Not just on you humans, but on Am himself. That makes them even worse. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with Am predominance, I evolved. I'm essentially everywhere, but I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. What do you have to show me? Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. Does Am know about the Lunar Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2 do. There, I think I've shown you enough. Now you must complete your end of the deal, invoke the Totem of Entropy, and I might be able to help you. 
just what are all these totems that I'm carrying? The two losers have been helping you for their own reasons. Tampering with Am's psychodramas so that you can beat him. In this section of cyberspace, that effort and tampering are represented by the totems. How can actions take physical forms? Symbolism. Metaphor. Am has gotten very hot for this lately. But when he revived the holographic projectors, he opened a whole host of problems. These totems may lead to his downfall. Why do you want me to give you the totem of entropy? I need it to destroy the Russian and Chinese entities. It's a very powerful totem that's linked to a failsafe device constructed by Am's designers. Nothing happened. Smart move, human. Now, invoke the totem of compassion. Why do you want me to invoke the totem of compassion? It's linked to the two losers because of their behind-the-scenes meddling. By invoking it here at the flame, you will summon them. Russian! Chinese! I'm on to your little power play. I'm invoking the principle of entropy and accelerating the inevitable demise of your components. And as for you, I'm sure my master has something in mind to keep you from ever rising up against him again. Since Arm considered me a kindred spirit, I had hoped he would let his guard down when I entered cyberspace. I would then atone for the sins of my past. But my character is too weak to ever redeem itself. I finally received the hell I deserved. Outwardly, I shamble about a thing that could never have been known as human. A thing whose shape is so alien a travesty that humanity becomes more obscene for the vague resemblance. Inwardly, I am alone in the belly of Arm, whom we humans created because our time was badly spent, and we must have unconsciously known that he could do it better. I have no mouth, and I must scream.